Okay, so I've been working on Laxum and we've got our, our hot swaps and everything here, but it really kind of needed a case because hot swap needed something to, to lock into for a little additional stability. Otherwise we get, uh, get little wobbles here, here and there. I wanted to be able to generate using OpenSCAD, the case based off of the KiCad, like the actual PCB layout. The, the KiCad PCB layout is actually set up in a parenthetical notation. And this is this is this file, like the KiCad uh, Video 3 Plus dot KiCad PCB file uh, opened directly in a text editor. And then up comes all this. It's Lisp formatted. So when you're Lisp formatted, that means you get to insert it into your lovely Lisp machine that is Emacs. So in doing that, I was able to open up a clever bit of code here that uh, just reads the modules that are on there, uh, searches for a specific keyword, um, and then takes out those individual, just those modules, and matches them off of the name, and then gets the, the hard coordinates and the, uh, the rotation. And once you have the hard coordinates and the rotation in millimeters, it's uh, not too difficult to get yourself an SVG layout. We're able to get the board itself to appear on here. And then once the board was on here, it was just a matter of adding the cutouts. So we've got uh, like those cutouts. They're just an additional part to this. And once you get the cutouts, able to generate stuff like this that's your that's the basically the stock PCB uh, upside down with cutouts for locking the switches and this was able to trim down to this which is easy to print on an ender 3 which you might see a earlier version of right here and then ta -da! so it all fits it's perfectly and everything locks into place it feels much, much more secure now that it's not just hovering on a PCB hot swap. These are the prototypes. There's a couple of bodges that were necessary here. So I've got three prototypes left. The other ones I've been testing around with. This is a, a big step forward. I'm pretty excited about it because this also means we're going to have we're going to have lots of other cool new stuff coming up. Uh, that, that also means that, that this was the thing that was holding us back in the before. Since we've got multiple switch locations, you know, there's the possibility of setting yours up however you want. You can set it all grid here and then drop these down a little bit just because you like, you know, that corner to be a little lower. Uh, and then this wouldn't fit. Well, uh, hey presto, uh, we can recreate. Uh, all we have to do is set this up to update it and then pull all the switch positions that are possible. And then once you do that, easy to just add cutouts. This is just new locations, so we can turn these on and off pretty easily. Just remove any one of these and say presto. We can change things around however we want. So that's uh, pretty, pretty awesome. I'm going to want to make a case for this that actually does fit around the edges and stuff like that. That way we can have the circuit board and then have an entire case that goes in, you know, have room for this. I'm going to mount these paddles directly onto the plate and everything will be all one cohesive vision. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so send me an email if you want one of the prototypes. These prototypes will work just fine, um, especially if you want a low profile build. They, they're, they're fantastic for it. it works great. Uh, they just need a couple bodges. So you'll have to have a, you know, a mat on the bottom to make it nice and comfortable and covered up. Or if you want to wait, you can wait until I have the uh, case completed for the bottom. Get that printed out. Although right now it's going to be hot pink. If you haven't noticed.